Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was about to discuss about that uh, Islamophobia attempts because I think I saw one of your picture in the Facebook, I think maybe like last year or something. I think you and Mayan holding the sign that Islamophobia is oxymoronic. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that yeah, one is yeah. really great. That one is really great. Uh, like, do you want to talk about that? Because I noticed the I noticed that like Azadi also said something similar to that kind of narrative. I think she said Islamophobia is a term created by like something like the like right wing kind of thing. I think she said that once, right? The wife of Mansa Hakmet, she uh, Azadi, she once mentioned about that. I read it somewhere, but I'm not like I don't really remember the quote itself. But she said same, something really similar, like. Islamophobia is a term created by the left liberal or the right wing Islamists and stuff like that. Like, what do you think of that term, the Islamophobia? I think it's like, first of all, like, I think someone, who, like, every sane human being should be scared of Islam because Islam kills. It's a brutal religion. Like, you, know, you can say, like, you know, all religions are brutal, but like, like Christianity or like Judaism, we can say, like, there's like somehow like a reformism in them. And like the Christian we have these days are not real Christian. So they don't kill you. They respect you. They like modern day, like they, 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 they believe in democracy and like blah, 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 blah. But like when we're talking about Islam these days, like 2022, of course it's brutal. Of course you're supposed to be scared because Islam kills. Simple as that. Look what happened to Masa Amini. 22 years old girl coming from Kurdistan. She was like Iranian Kurdish. So basically, like, as you know, like, you know, Iranian Kurdish are very poor. Like yeah, all the like, you know, money and all the like, uh, how to say, uh, development like you know, ha has been taken place in Tehran and big cities. And like, country, like you know, places like Kurdistan, Azerbaijan, these places are very deprived from their basic rights. And they are not, I mean, they are very poor. So she was coming from a very, very, very poor family in a very small city in Kurdistan. And like, you know, after these sanctions over this decade, like Iranian economic, it's just going down and down and down. Like, you know, most of the people are like living under the line of poverty. So if you're coming from Kurdistan, you are even more poor than the like, you know, other people. And she was 22, girl coming from a poor family just visiting the capital for two or three days of having fun. And they arrested her because she was semi-whale. She had hijab. Yeah, it's not like you know, she was removing the hijab or something. She had hijab, but the government was not happy with the hijab that she had. She was arrested and now she's dead. And like during this protest, like you no, know, I've heard like you know, 36 people already dead shot by the government. The number of executions in Iran, it's huge. It's the first country in the world executing their own citizens. If you're atheist, if you're ex-Muslim, if you're homosexuals, if you're a woman who do not like, you know, obey the Islamic rules, they kill you. So, and just like happened like in Afghanistan, let's look what happened when ISIS was in power in Iraq and Syria. So if you ask me, are you, are you scared of Islam? I would say, yes, Islam is scary. Islam kills, first of all. And second of all, as you said, yeah, Islamophobe, a very stupid sort of mixture of the words, trying to labelize the Islam critics and try to somehow to stop them and shut their mouths and do not let them to criticize Islam. So left rebels, as you said, or like the liberal like you know the normal democracy sort of political party in, in in Europe they created these words to be against the uh to 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 stop the islamic critics and try to save the political islam which was in power and is still in power but like you know 40 years ago 30 years ago it was kind of like a new movement so they they were thinking like this sort of like you know islamism can be against like imperialism can be against the US and can be against the far rights, neo-Nazism. So they were supporting and promoting Islamism and they created this word Islamophobe. So they would like, you know, stop as a, uh, like, you know, shut the mouth of the people who would like to criticize Islam. You know, in, in Europe and North America, like, you know, we have this far left, far right as well, which don't like, which 
who are not really happy about the immigration policy. They say like, you know, these immigrants are the problem of, are, are the cause of all problems we have in the West. Uh, basically, I'm talking about the racist people, uh, which are very big these days, like, you know, in Sweden, for example, like, you know, we had an election in September and the Sweden Democrats, which is like a far right anti-immigrant political party is the second biggest now. And it's true with like most of the countries in, in Europe. So basically like, Islamophobe also was a ter- is a term these days uh, describing the racist basically, but if like I were in the position of like these li- liberals, uh, I would choose the other words, saying like um, if they are really honest about like you know pro- like, pro- like supporting the immigrants' rights, they, they would they could use some other words like uh, basically um, hijab. It's not like you know the choice of the people, like some other some 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 other phrases. Islamophobe clearly, as I said, is a term to like uh, to 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 be to, to stand against the Islam critics and the far right political party. So if you ask me, that's a very um, stupid combination of word. It doesn't make any sense, and it's just something that, as I said, to uh, stop people, stop like you know, stop the people of Middle East to rioting uh, against Islamism and Islamic governments, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that one on that analysis because I also think that way. Really, like, let's say, because I, for me personally, I never use the term Islamophobia or Islamophobia. I never use that. I use an alternative word that I use anti-Muslim bigotry. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense, right? Because like most of the far right... Precisely, like, yeah. You can yeah. use some other words, like, you know, anti-Islam bigotry is like, makes sense, makes more yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because that emphasizes their characteristics of being xenophobic, racist, and stuff like that. So anti-Muslim bigotry, that clearly defines the terms. So like when we see the right wings, like actual right wings, people like Trump kind of like followers and like neo-Nazis and stuff like that. Apparently they are anti-Muslim bigots. So we can just say that word, right? It's like, it's like sort of using the Islamophobia because I believe, I'm, I agree with that. Like Islamophobia is a rational fear. It's not an irrational fear. So, and then that is a mess because like if you are progressive, apparently you have to hate Islam. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. Because like it is the only religion that, is, that has not been reformed yet. Let's say, like, if we analyze the Christianity, it has been reformed several times. So, like, let's say, if we look at the Old Testament, like, Old Testament, we cannot, like, no Christian never, like, they don't really reference that anymore. They use the New Testament, and they already reformed most of the, like, hostile, like, murderous, genocidal verses. They already got rid of them. But when it comes to the Quran or Hadith, they are pretty much the same. They have never been reformed. Like, you know, in the Christian world, yeah, like in a country who are like, you know, known as a Christian countries, you barely see anyone like go and see the Old Testament and like, you know, interpret it literally. Say like, you know, if in the Old Testament, say like, you know, kill the non-Christian people, go on the street and kill the uh, non, non, uh, what, what, non-Christian uh, people on the street. In the Islamic world, it is still true. They are like, you know, and they are in power, like politically in power. They read the Quran literally. And in Quran clearly said, for example, if you say kufar, any part of the world, kill them. Simple as that. And that's clear. Women, if the, if your, your, your wife disobey you, first of all, talk to them. I'm talking about Nasa, Surah Nasa. Talk to them and then change your bed and then beat them. And they say, like, you no, know, the main are guardians of uh, males are guardians of females, and m- women are the farms for the men. And this sort of thing, you can have like you know, four wives. And there are people like read it literally and do it in real, in the in the in the real world, <laughs> and practice it in the real world. We have like it's really common, for example, if you live in Dubai or Saudi Arabia or in Iran to have like several wives as a man, have several wives, while women do not have such a, uh, such a chance to have different husbands. <laughs> or like if you're homosexuals, yeah, in Quran, so like, you know, there's are, there are, there are the most 
I have to say, disgusting people, and they're supposed to be like executed, and they are getting executed in Iran and Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia. So that's I think that's a the difference. They, we are we are living in a world where Muslims read Quran literally and practice it in the real world. That's why Islam is dangerous. So if you ask me again, are you scared of Islam? It's like if if you're sane, if you are not drunk or something, of course you the, the, the answer is yes, yes, yes. Islam is scary. And I'm scared of Islam.